Welcome to the Dave Show. My name is Dave, and today I'm here to tell you about this battery operated cordless vacuum cleaner you can use for many different things. Now, the company did send me this product for a review, but they wanted me to show you what it is and how it works. This is a company called VTO Man or Vito Man. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but they uh, this thing actually does more than just a vacuum because of their battery pack system. I'll explain that in just a minute. But let's take a closer look and see what we get in the package, and we're going to put it to the test. One thing that's really cool is they do give you this carry case to put it all in. This is everything, the whole vacuum cleaner, all the attachments, the battery pack, everything is all in this bag. You can put on a shelf or uh, in a car or anything like that. Very nice and handy. Now let's dig in and see what's inside. Okay, here's everything you're going to get in the package. You do get an instruction manual. Now, this actually instruction manual does for uh, has instructions for different things. There's different products in here, so you get a chance to see what some of the other products are. And I actually own some of these now as well because I did some reviews for them. But like this uh, pressure washer and uh, air, t you know, pump tires and all kinds of cool stuff here on that. Uh, it's all in this manual. You get a chance to take a look at it. It's very simple, very nice. To, to do and use. So you get a lot of different pieces here. You're gonna get a, a floor cleaner thing. So now we've got a, a spring loaded, adjustable. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of felt here. Uh, no brushes or rollers or anything like that. So uh, this is good for picking up crumbs and things. You do get some extension handles. So now you can extend this and this out. So it makes it much longer and easier to uh, get in there and do your thing. You are going to get an extra little filter here. And you're going to get a little brush for the end, a little you know brush on that. And then you get the unit and the battery pack itself. Of course, you're going to get a power cable. Now, this does not come with your little um, uh, battery power bank, little brick thing. You need to uh, be able you know have that yourself. But you can even plug this in to a car if you have that type of uh, plug-in to charge your battery. And it is a USB-C, so it's very nice to see there. So then on the battery pack itself, you have a little button here to press to see your battery level there. And then on the end of it here, this is where you plug your USB-C in. And this is the part that attaches and, and plugs into the back of this. Now, this particular battery pack, or this company offers a, a an adapter type wire set for jump starting your car. Uh, very nice. I do have that set for a couple of other of their products, but this one does not come with it. Uh, you can get it separately. And all you do is you're going to plug that into here and you plug it into your car to jump start your car. Very nice uh, as an option. Uh, didn't come with this, but you can use it if you have uh, their other products. And then we have a power button. I'm going to show you a bit more about on that, on how to turn it on and off, and also the different features. You've got this little uh, cap container that you can unlock and open up. And this is where you take the filter out to replace the filter. Um, again, you get the, an extra one on there, which is pretty nice. And then just lock that in. This one here opens up the cap. It's a little spring loaded, and that's how you dump out your garbage. And then there's also a little flap in here too, which is cool. So it's a it's a one way. I can't get into it. It's a one way flap, so the stuff gets sucked in and not out. <laughs> so once it sucks it in, it's in there for good till you dump it out like that. And then of course you just have your attachment end to it. Um, the bottom part of it, this is where the air comes out. Um, it's going to blow out this way. So if you're holding it, you're going to feel the air blow out as it sucks in. Now here, all you're going to do is if you press it once, it's actually going to show you your battery indicator on that. But if you press and hold it down, that's on the first level. Now I can feel the air coming out the back and it's got some pretty good suction. Then if you hit it again, it goes up. Very nice. And you have to press and hold it to go to... That was pretty loud, so I hope you were able to hear me while I was doing it. So you can see it's got some a lot of power. Okay, then you got the different ends attachments. Now, if you're on, on this uh, part of it here, you can snap that on and use the little brush here for this. So if you want to just go a little handheld kind of vacuum to, to get your desk or even on a keyboard or that kind of stuff, you can do that. Um, but now you can take this off and then you've got your, your other attachments like this. Now, now this end is not going to fit onto here. It just slides through. So what this is designed for is that um, is this end. So you're going to be able to you're gonna put this on like that and that will hold in 
that part of it. And you've got your different extensions depending on how long you need to, to go to use it. You can just do it that way. Okay, I got a few things as an example or a sample. Most of it is food because that's what I like to go by. But, you know, I got some Cheerios, some coffee grounds, some uh, little goldfishies. I figured if you had, like, kids and they spill food or whatnot. Um, I also have some lint from the dryer and some dog hair. Now, I'm just going to show it to you here on this table which is actually a flooring if it's like like your floor hardwood floor now i don't really have any carpet in the house i've got very little carpet um uh, to to use and try it okay i'm going to try it with this little uh, head here first to see how that goes and uh let's try some lint and see how it picks it up Ooh. okay Okay, picked it up fine. It went through. There's nothing to get caught, and it looks like it went um, right on in. Okay, I left some of the um, lint in there to cover up that filter area a little bit just to see how that goes. Now let's try the coffee grounds. Oh, oh by the way, this is just on the very first setting, not even the turbo mode. Okay, real easy. Now you can see there's coffee up in there. So let's keep going. Let's see, Cheerios looks like it's the next biggest one. Let's get some Cheerios. Let's try that. Okay. Okay, as you see, it, it, it kind of pushed it along. It's because this... Uh, part of it is not very big so you may have to pick the unit up just a little bit to get over the top of them that seems to be the on that one let's try that okay Well, it looks like some of those came out. It didn't quite get them all up in there. So let's try that again. Kind of got stuck. They might be a little too big. Oh, turbo. Well, some of them came up into here, uh, but it looks like these other ones just kind of got stuck in there and came out again. So um, maybe not so much the Cheerios. I'm going to just try it with uh, this on it instead of the uh, end. Oh, yeah. Okay, I picked it up really good with just that. So if you had the extensions even so you don't have to lean down, um, you could do it with just the end. Uh, for some reason, like these the they got stuck up in here for some reason. So let's gonna try. Let's try the goldfish. They're probably gonna be the same kind of thing because they are a little bit bigger. But let's give it a try. Yeah, some of them came out. We did get some. We did get some in there, but some of them came out uh, with it. So they uh, they must be too big to get stuck in the little part of it there. But if I just go ahead and turn it on again, not a problem. Real easy, and it picked it up. Very nice. So there you have it, a quick look at the VTO Man uh, vacuum, cordless vacuum. It has actually some pretty good power to it. Uh, you saw that it didn't uh, pick up some of the bigger things with that uh, uh, floor attachment, but it did fine with just the, the little suction tube here at the end. Um, and it can hold quite a bit, it looks like, in there as well. So a uh, pretty nice thing. If you are looking for a nice, good, powerful cordless vacuum cleaner, this one may be the right one for you.